morning. So, midsummer event, King of Kings. We're just uh, we're gonna head out of Port Credit this morning. Uh, Port Credit's on the west end of the lake. Uh, Friday, gonna get some pre-fishing in. One of the big obstacles this weekend is uh, the lake's flipped on us. Literally, the cold water shows up and the hot runs away and usually uh, the fish go with it so it's going to be a bit of a grind check out this west end like i've always said uh, we want to subtract water from our program so we're going to give it a whirl port credit tournaments out of bluff so that's about a 15 mile run but uh with this uh alumacraft you know the lakes are oyster we can run pretty much anywhere in good conditions which are expected this weekend so we're going to give it a whirl Started in uh, one of our old faithful spots there, just the cement plants off uh, Port Credit. Surface water was 47 degrees. <laughs> We're in August here. I mean, it's, it's unheard of to have these kind of temperatures. And unfortunately, the fish aren't going to sit in that. So we've trolled our way up to 200. We found a random straggler on a lead core, just about an 18 pound king. Um, they sure do fight hard in this cold weather. Sorry, cold water, but. Um, just far and few between, not enough to uh, to focus on for a tournament. So we are kind of figuring out our next move. Uh, St. Catharines has some warmer water. That's about a 26 mile run. Um, yeah, we're gonna rack our brains here, put some uh, ideas together and sort it out. Pretty good fish there. We, we put him at about 22, 23. Oh. Um, we're back into another one. So honestly, we're not seeing much out here. We're in 250, freezing cold water. So we're gonna send it right back down. Uh, we took that last fish at 199 on the rigger. So that's uh, it's not common practice, but uh, it's not often we deal with conditions we have right now. We're pretty much cold water from top to bottom, so there's no water columns or thermoclines that fish would be sitting in. So we're just randomly choosing depths. 199, that's the new ticket. That turned into an interesting little morning. We actually did catch one or two decent fish, but really no pattern. Most likely just completely randoms. Um, and yeah, so we uh, we searched the grounds in the credit area from I think it was from 50 all the way up to 260. And uh, yeah, it wasn't looking very good. There were super cold water everywhere. Other than that, it was it was a tough go. So it's going to be a, an interesting evening evening of contemplating what the game plan will be for tomorrow.
shotgun start this morning was 6 a.m. We had enough light to get out there. I think 90, 95% of the field came east. We had our eyes set on Pickering, Whitby, or possibly Oshawa. We were just going to kind of gauge as we ran down the shoreline as we had fished here. Just on the way into Whitby, we, we pulled up, set up, and we, we fired. Jeez, we fired in the first 10 minutes. For us, I find August is a, a bit of a transition month. You know, they're already on the fly, bait, the fly bites. Um, you know, the meat's been working. But not to say they won't uh, pick away at some spoons as well. So, um, you know, we, we like our flies, especially in shallow water inside 70 feet, as, as they're, they're a pretty good agitator. Um, you know, a lot of frustration uh, triggered strikes. Uh, so we put our spoons out on our lead core. And um, our next two fish came on a 10 color. With, uh, with just an NK style spoon. We've seen some pretty good fish coming out of further east there, um, Oshawa, Newcastle. We thought we'd go take a poke. The winds weren't too bad at that time, so we ran about eight, nine miles down, and um, it was pretty bare. So we, uh, we did about a 45 minute troll. There wasn't much around. Said, so let's get back, and unfortunately the winds picked up. Nothing major, got a little bit choppy. Well, we shot our way back up, back to that, uh, that whippy water that, that was so good to us. And um, right away, that core fire with that spoon again, and that blocked us out with our six fish. So, so we're feeling good, and um, now it's just been a grind. Nice mark there, uh, broad dish upgrade. It's probably about a eight pound upgrade from our uh, second year. So it's awesome. Obviously, we'd like to get a bit bigger than that, but uh, it's a start, right? We've got another two hours to go, and hopefully, we can put it together. up another two on this one. So those last few fish there, they were the 130 bite and believe it or not we took about four more leading up to that 230, which are all about pound, pound and a half upgrades. We had an hour run time to get back and it, it picked up. It picked up pretty good from the southwest. We had about a 20 mile run to get back. So uh, yeah, that footage isn't needed. It was a bumpy ride back, but uh, the Illumicraft got us back safely and uh, it was a great run. Um, got back to the way, way stations there and there's about, you know, the majority of the field uh, caught fish today, which was exciting. You know, it's good to see when everyone, uh, everyone has a good day and, um, you know, not not a full breakdown, but there was there was a team there, Royal Flush, that um, you know, very reputable team. Uh, half the members from the U.S. came up. They killed it. They, they found a 31 pounder. I mean, and this year that's ranked five of the top fish that we've seen out in the lake. So we tip our hat to them. Um, we ended up finishing with a reputable fifth, which uh, you know, I was proud of my guys. They killed it today. We had, we had a great day, and um, they were on the ball. And, that's all you could ask. Yeah, you know. Hopefully, I can put them on the fish, and and then the crew can kill it with uh, with getting them in. So, all in all, incredible event, King of Kings. I mean, it's it's the biggest there is on Lake Ontario, Great Lakes. So uh, to be part of it and even the top five in this event is is a good uh, feather in the cap for the boys. And we're excited for Coburg, which is two weeks from now. And to be honest. We like Coburg. We're excited for Coburg. Um, you know, we, we like our flies. We like our staging program. So, yeah, hopefully uh, get some good footage for that and um, get ourselves the first win of the year. So, we'll see you in Coburg. <laughs>